Quiet morning, 73 degrees this Friday. North wind at eight miles per hour, 540 on the clock right now. Dew point is still up over 70, so it is still humid. Uh, the rain is offshore again this morning, but compared to yesterday, we're not going to have as much rain. Uh, where the airport got nearly two inches of rain yesterday, I think today the coverage is going to be more isolated uh, and the totals will be far less impressive. So uh, the best shot for rain looks to happen in the morning, maybe into the early afternoon but uh, the trend is going to be to see the rain kick to the east today as an upper level disturbance also moves east. That disturbance is right over uh, south and central Texas here this morning. So as this feature moves into the Gulf, uh, that will end the rain chances and drop a weak front into the area late in the day and into tonight. That front will stall in the Gulf of Mexico and supply us with a beautiful Saturday of weather. Uh, it's going to be a sunny delight Saturday, lower humidity, mainly sunny to partly cloudy skies, uh, but that front stalling where it is is also going to have a little effect on uh, this tropical system moving in from the south, uh, and we could see rain starting as early as Sunday from the tropical system, the one that's right now Tropical Depression 22, uh, and this is the one that we've got to watch very carefully over the next few days. Uh, it's currently 35 mile per hour Tropical Depression, and it's moving north to northeast at 6 miles per hour so it's got some movement to it now this morning and it looks like it's going to continue to move to the north and northeast but it's going to get into a little more wind shear as it gets farther north uh, but where it currently is uh, it does look like the shear is relatively low, so I do think we see this develop today, uh, probably to a tropical storm. Uh, but we've got some players in the forecast path uh, that need to be addressed, and these are going to affect how this storm moves and reacts. So we've got high pressure that's going to be building over the southeastern U.S. This is going to be the feature that doesn't let this storm go to the north and east like we were talking about yesterday. So that doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Uh, this will get pushed to the west and then run into this cold front that'll be stalled in the Gulf. This front is gonna introduce some drier air and I think it'll have some wind shear with it. Uh, so that, to me, should mitigate some of the intensification or strengthening uh, with this feature. It's also gonna be a sluggish moving feature as it continues to move uh, to the west, and that's gonna be into next week. This plot goes out to about noon on Wednesday, and you see how the models are all grouped uh, around the Texas Gulf Coast. This is the forecast cone now. Came out at 4 a.m. from the Hurricane Center, and it takes that sharp west turn over the weekend, Saturday into Sunday, up to tropical storm force today, could reach low end cat one hurricane status by Sunday and then weaken as it gets closer to the Texas Gulf Coast early next week. This though, now it's gonna be a very slow moving storm. It's gonna drop big rains and given the forecast intensity of a tropical storm as it nears the coast. Uh, it's plausible that we do get tropical storm force conditions, uh, but that could mean winds of just 39 miles per hour. That would satisfy the tropical storm force conditions. Uh, I don't think this is a huge wind maker at this point, so uh, winds could be on the order of maybe 30 to 50 miles per hour, and those would be mainly near the coastal counties of the area. The rainfall, this is going to be impressive. I think we could see totals up over a half a foot, maybe a foot in coastal locations. And then that total forecast drops off pretty sharply once you get about 20 miles inland. So close to the 77 corridor, uh, you'll be looking at two to four inches and then less than that farther inland. Uh, but the biggest rain receivers are going to be near the coast could get up to near a foot of rain uh, between Sunday and Wednesday of next week. The next name up is Wilfred. That is what this storm is likely going to become here uh, today as it develops and strengthens to a tropical storm. Today in the coastal bend, just isolated showers. I think the best chance will be in the morning or early afternoon. The rain chances then decrease uh, after you know the two, three o'clock hours and we'll hit a high of about 90 degrees. Tonight looks great for football games.
uh, rain free weather we'll be in the upper 60s low 70s tomorrow morning thanks to that weak front and less humidity and then tomorrow looks spectacular low humidity uh, mid to upper 80s and sunshine here for Saturday today isolated activity high of 90 mostly cloudy warm and humid out there with a northeast wind at 10 to 18 miles per hour tonight 70 less humidity clearing skies and a north wind at 7 to 14 now uh, sunny delight on Saturday then the weather deteriorates into Sunday at as the tropical rains start to move in, it does get breezier. Uh, could get those tropical storm force wind speeds on Monday and Tuesday on the order of about 30 to 50 miles per hour given the current forecast cone. And those tropical downpours could easily add up to between a half a foot, maybe a foot uh, in Corpus Christi and coastal areas between Sunday and Wednesday of next week. Brian?